welcome back to the Drive Home with MIVN. It's night time. Today is a, it's our sexy episode because it's night time. Yeah. And we just saw Gardens of the Galaxy 2 and that's kind of sexy. I didn't know your, your voice could be that smooth. Though. Well, yeah. I try to be. So uh, Gardens of the Galaxy 2, uh, we just saw and I don't know. It was directed by James Gunn, he did the first one. Um, he's directing the third one. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, the third one. Spoilers that there's a, there's third, a third one, one coming. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of Marvel movies. Yeah. And um, <laughs> first off the bat, I thought it was awesome. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. It was just a fun. It was just a fun romp. It is it, a great it's, fun film. It, it, it's, you know how people are like, that was a dumb fun movie. Like yeah. this is exactly what like a good dumb fun movie is. Yeah. It's, it hits all the right the right beats. It's kind of got like its emotional beats, but uh, nothing ever stays as welcome, or nothing feels contrived. It was also hilarious. It was, like it was pretty dumb. I haven't laughed that much in a movie for quite a while. Yeah. It was like you, it, it didn't surprise. Like there were, there were no surprises. It, it isn't all like, oh my god, what a twist. But uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you knew you know what you're I getting. I really lost my train of thought. It happens. Yeah, you know, you know exactly what we're getting, but that's but that's okay. Like it, it's almost, it was almost more like I, I was more okay with it with this movie than I would be with most movies. Like how straightforward and, and, and predictable it was, but it was just, it was just entertainment, and it and it wasn't trying to be something that it's not. It's just it's comfortable just being Guardians of the Galaxy, which is just like space battles, like a joke every two seconds, and lots of colors, lots of colors, and 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 a, and a bit of heart. It's very cool. That's all you, that's all you want in a movie. Well, yeah, I, I thought it was great. That, I think that's a testament to James Gunn's direction. Like, visually, it was incredible. Yeah. And the story, I thought the story was it was really well written and all that sort of stuff. But uh, the direction, the pacing was fantastic. Mm. That was a really long movie. Yeah, it didn't feel that long. Like, what, well, two hours and 20 minutes or something? Something very similar. Well, we were in the, well, we were in the cinema for almost, like, two and a half, bit, a bit longer, actually. Yeah. And we got there a bit late. And not one, at any point, do you feel like it's... It's dragging on, or you're like, man, I want this movie to end already. Oh, I did really need to go to the toilet. Oh, well, look, that happens in all long movies. <laughs> yeah, besides that's, that, besides that. That's that's our fault for being rookie Pepsi years. Yeah. Pe- Pepiets. Never drink that much Pepsi. No. Never I didn't drink that much Pepsi. Just a little bit of Pepsi. Yeah. It was a lot of Pepsi. But, uh, yeah, that movie was fantastic, I suppose. Is that, like, our... I, yeah, I don't know, story-wise, that... I thought the story was really cool. Like, I know you said it was kind of predictable, but I, I thought they just told it in a non, like expected fashion I suppose like story beats that you would find at the end of the second act where they're like oh we're not we're fighting happened in the first act where like Raccoon um bloody what's his name oh Rocket Rocket Ra- Rocket Raccoon and Star Lord sort of have their falling out yeah like at the start of the first act which mm. generally most movies would have that during the second act and then they have that nice moment yeah during the third the third act sort of the fallout in the second act was between the sisters yeah so it's, it kind of had all these yeah it, like the main characters didn't follow the normal narrative plot threads that we think of mm. it's kind of felt like it was different beats rather than being like the stock standard three acts it was like a five act structure kind yeah, of thing yeah 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 where the, fir- the opening was super bombastic and yeah like, but it started with quite a normal, like, surreal moment. That opening sequence oh, was so was so good. cool. That's like yeah. that's one of the best openings. That's probably like second to Watchmen's opening sequence. Oh, that's that's a pretty. It was a pretty great opening. Yeah, it was great. Though. It's not as good as as, as Watchmen, no. but it was a great credit sequence. And it, uh, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you've never seen Guardians of the Galaxy before, it tells you everything about all the characters that <laughs> yeah. you need to know yeah. to yeah. be able to be like, oh, I understand yeah. where their emotional notes or why they're hitting sorry like mm. even in that fight where you like you know all of the roles that they play each each person yeah so you're like oh even if you haven't seen it you're like oh I understand that like, yeah. this is his character that's her character yeah mm-hmm. it's very hard to do that sort of thing with very limited screen time and like almost no dialogue yeah like it was yeah. all dancing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> oh the dancing the soundtrack was good yes As, like, it was, like we, all, we all knew it was going to be good yeah the soundtrack was pretty great big fun, fun of Oh, big fun. Big, big fan fun of, of um. Who doesn't love big fun? I, I like big fun of. Big fun of, yeah. Fleetwood Mac, in particular. I think there was some ELO in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Cat Stevens. Oh, the ending with Cat Stevens. Yeah, I know. I don't want to jump to yeah. that just yet. I but had so many feelings. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. A testament to this movie, I suppose, because you know it's a superhero movie and it's a bit silly, but uh, yeah. I thought the acting really makes you believe that the characters are real. Like, oh yeah. Chris Pratt stuff, you believed and like. The relationship with the, the sisters and all that was, uh, yeah. like, was was you felt earned. It wasn't just like, oh, we'll shoot it in so you, you, you think you have to care for them. I felt like they really laid the ground, groundwork for all the payoffs that you got. Yeah. Which I don't think a lot of films really tend to do all that often. 
Yeah, most definitely. So. Well, it made sense because like they were, they were all reasonable feelings. Like when it's like you, you know enough about their story and they explain enough about their story to be like, yeah, I'd, I'd probably feel something pretty similar to what you're feeling right now. It's like I, I could empathize with all of them. Like, like the sister had me, like the sisters, like her, her talk about her struggles. I'm like, <gasps> like Rocket's struggles. <gasps> even even like Blue Dude, what's his name? Yeah, Blue Dude. Yeah, Andy. even yeah, that was great. Even, I even even his his moment. I'm just like, they just they they like I, I could empathize with all of them because like they were, they were pretty simple. It's they, they weren't. Yeah. They're, they were relatable. Yeah, maybe that was the biggest thing. The the issues that they were facing, not the saving the world stuff, but the emotional issues you felt you could relate yeah. to. And then I suppose that's. I don't want to get too far into spoiler territory, but the other character, yeah, was empath, spoil probably spoil it. Like yeah. her entire role is to be empathetic and to feel other people's empathy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of a melding between. The, the story kind of like a melding between like, I have the power to make everything better. But like, but should I do it? Or like that cross between like analytical and having humanity, or yeah. love and analysis of like things would be better off if I've changed everything. Mm, yeah. But everyone would have to die for that to happen. I'll do it anyway, sort of thing. Like, you know, like. And then yeah. yeah, very cool. All right. So without spoilers, go see it. It was fantastic. Yeah. Well, ever, everyone's already gonna see it. Everyone's already gonna enjoy it. It's just. It's funny you say that. Though. Lots of people are like, yeah, I've never seen Guardians. I was like, why? What is wrong with you? Fools of Tooks. Well, they just would have been wrong. Really? Yes, they would have been wrong. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it isn't it isn't Marvel enough. It's part of the Marvel universe, but it isn't like. I still reckon it's probably my favorite of all the Marvel movies, and I know everyone's like, "Yeah, but Civil War." I'm like, Civil nah, War. I don't remember anything Always about Civil War. War. Don't yeah. remember anything about it. It like, had the conflict it had Spider Man in it again. It was so good. Yeah. Spider Man's edition was amazing. I'm yeah, kind yeah. of sick of Spider Man. He's been rebooted twice. Yeah, but he's been re 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 rebooted well. I, I like the last reboot. Same. I really enjoyed it. Except, I like, I like the, Liz, except the Lightning Man. Um, uh, can yeah, can I Fox. bring it back to topic for a second? No. Yeah. Kurt Russell was in this movie. I had no idea. Oh, really? I haven't watched it because I'm watching the trailers. David Hasselhoff is in this Well, yeah, yeah, for a second. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone yeah. is in this movie. I know, I know. I was getting to other people. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, and Vinnie Rames. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, you just like, yeah, just the, casually dropping the, the all these people were, in. The cameos were so on point. Yeah, I was like... I loved it. So, and they've laid the groundwork for a bunch of what seems like all these different Marvel... Yeah. Stories, the ravages, and yeah. man, are we gonna get like a Stallone-led Expendables in the Marvel world? That's, it, it felt a bit Expendables. That would be it? awesomely yeah. like terrible, but awesome. That'd yeah. be great. Like, it would be great in all the terrible senses. It's a really cool um, universe. Like how Fast and built. Furious is. Yeah. yeah. I, th I just think it's a like. I mean, I know <coughs> I know they make these things to make more of them, and that's such a Marvel-y like thing that they've done. Like they they made Iron Man, which is rebuild their empire and stuff but yeah. this particular universe like this little particular facet of the marvel universe is awesome and yeah. it's really i guess it's i don't say easy but there's a lot of room for them there to make like spin-offs and 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 sequels and things like that without kind of cheapening it too much i reckon whereas yeah. like a lot of the other ones they kind of like i mean iron man they they drag that really hard like the second iron man's a tough watch yeah i reckon the third one is as well. the, the third one's a tough watch as well and yeah. and like but it, the first movie goes down and everyone like loves iron man but then you actually go and watch number two and number three and you're like man i don't want to watch these films yeah whereas these ones i feel like there's enough scope to kind of change it up to be in the same universe but very different story kind of things as well well i'm i want to go watch the first one again Oh, I probably that's what I would do tonight. Cause yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Cause I wanted to do that before we watched this, but I was like, you know what? I like I forgot how much I enjoyed the characters. Like the amount of effort they put into building the family dynamic in the first one, like really pays off here. Cause you get that, and the whole thing's about family. Yeah. Like everything, and from every character's point of view, it seems to be about family. Like you get realistically three new, three new not new characters, but three characters sort of get brought into the fold, yeah, chasing. Yeah, yeah their own family identity issues and then you also have the other four or five how many five of them I don't know this group have identity four, issues four plus group yeah so like four other people who sort of apart from Drax I always forget his name Drax, Drax. Yeah. apart from Drax they've all no one's really dealt with their sort of issues Drax has got his own other things but uh, Drax was in the first one I yeah, yeah yeah and that's why he dealt with these sort of issues and that a bit more I suppose whereas this is sort of uh, everyone else but also that, that moment me. that he had with the empath yeah that yeah. was cool. and I was just like oh yeah. Feels. Yeah. See, that was it was really well done because everyone got their like what they deserve to get. Their characters got that bit of screen time. Yeah, like yeah. it's very like people lauded Joss Whedon for um making the Avengers relatable and giving enough screen time to every character and yeah. making us care about characters no one would care about generally. Mm. And 
it's with the first one, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the yeah. second one. Yeah. yeah. The second one's got that awesome farm sequence. Yeah. I like, that's like the best part. That, that movie's the worst when they're fighting. To me, personally. But that's, yeah. my, that's my thing. But this feels even like the next step up of yeah. what Whedon was doing, where he, like, he really gave the characters their moments to shine. Yeah. And made them face their issues that they have to. Or not in a con- I didn't think it was a contrived and completely silly way. Agreed. Uh, I mean, the more I think about it, the more I really enjoyed it. And it, I'm not going to lie, emotionally it got to me. Yeah, there was a few moments in it, right? Like, not even just at the end. Like, there was a couple of hits here and there in probably that second half. Oh, well... It was yeah, very cool. The story is about Quill coming to terms with his abandonment issues with his his dad and also, like, you know, finding finding his family and his, and his purpose, in a way. I, I feel as though the best thing... It feels in there. The future for all our... Uh, this is definitely spoilers. I'm not going to say it out I'm going to say it out loud, but not exactly the person. But it feels like the best thing to do with comic book movies now is the thing that the main character's striving for, make that be the enemy and make him kill it. So effectively, they're killing the thing that they loved and wanted the whole time. Yeah. Because it makes it that much more powerful. I thought it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Like, because he... he had... No, but then they, they just, like, just pulled a, a, like a, a, a flip a roo on us. If that's a... I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that a thing. Flipperoo, yeah. Flipperoo. You, you know what it is. They pulled a flipperoo on us. It's pretty self-explanatory, and they're just like, oh, so like the the the, the meaning and, and and seeking of, of approval from a like a, a, a patriarchal character, like that's that he didn't get that from this character. Let's just get he can get it from another character now, mm. and then just done. Well, to be for like, I kind of thought that at the like when that was all going down. So like, yeah, yeah. Him having issues with the dad or whatever. Yeah. But then I was like, well. They kind of said, if it doesn't work out, we'll just kill everyone. Like, that was, like, pretty much a line that they said right at the start of the movie. Well, yeah, they did. Right. She was like, that's great. You know, we'll, we'll see how it works. But if it doesn't, we'll just yeah. kill him. I was like, yeah, fair enough. Cool, cool. Man, yeah, could... oh, I didn't think I could like Chris Pratt that much more. He's like fantastic. Him. Yeah, he's, he's a really good actor. He seems like a great dude. Too. Like, he's, he's not, not, just, not just a comedian. Like, he's got really good timing. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought he was... I just thought everybody was really great in it. Especially people that aren't meant to be playing human. Like... It's great when Drax is the guy that shines a light on what makes humans human. When yeah. He's like the most awkward person yeah. ever. Yeah. Like, and that's what's so great about those characters, those the characters between Drax, the interaction sorry between Drax and uh, Empath. And what was her name? Man- Mantis. Uh, Mantis. Mantis. Yeah. yeah. She was cute. I like that. She was cute. That, oh, that's such it. But even like, oh, Drax is like, yeah, you're ugly. Yeah. And that's that's fantastic because. The person who loves you loves you for you. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's such a nice way to put it. I was yeah. like, oh, you know, of all the ways to tell somebody they're ugly, it's not a bad thing. I don't know. Fucking, you know what? I love that movie. Yeah, it's really cool. Before I talk about it, go see uh-huh. it. Yeah, definitely go see it. It was. It and then was... go see the first one, and then probably watch the second one again. Yeah, I don't know. And then watch the first one again. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Do we have any like? I don't know. Do we? We sort of gone spoiler. Do you have any favorite parts or anything else we want to add or um, anything we've missed? I just, Again, it's, 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 it's a, it. I mean, I keep coming back to this, but like, it was a very, very pretty movie. Very colorful, yeah. and it was really well done. And like, the space that, battles, the were space battles were great, loud and exciting. Oh, the other thing is that's amazing in these films, and it's it's probably a product of time and a lot of money and stuff in the Marvel department. But the sound design in, oh. in that film is incredible. Yep. Yeah. All of like the lasers and the guns have space so space. much weight to them, like. Yeah, and the, the engines and that, and again, the music tracks is are fantastic. But yeah, everything has, like the Foley design, just, I'd be, it'd be incredible to see. Like, like a special features or something on the DVD in the Foley studio, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Very cool. There, were, there was a Star Wars sound effect in there from like the very first Star Wars film. That's awesome. It was like a, like a pod racer sound or something. That's so cool. Just like you reckon they, they added it intentionally, just as a, as a little nod? Oh, no, I've heard it in a few films. It's, it's like, it must be like a, I don't think the cash. Yeah, it must be an open sourcey, like a buy it in a pack. You get a pod, get pod racer sound. I do like pod racers. What about you, Mikey? So, Guardians are like 100% getting involved in the fight against Thanos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah They're going to be that's like, in that's, Infinity War. Yeah, that, that's sick. Like, like yeah. They've, I, already, they've already made the connection. And they've well, already, like. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of the closest to everything, if anything. Yeah. Like, they, well, they, like, for them, it's personal now because, like, a, a member of their foals, they're just. The directly linked to Thanos. Yeah. Like well, it. yeah, it'd be it's it'd be interesting to see how they they do Infinity War. From all accounts, apparently they're like the levity for the for that film. Yeah. So apparently it's going to be very Civil War esque, where it was kind of light on the humour. Yeah. And far more serious. And then apparently they're meant to be not comic relief necessarily, but they're meant to be the like 
because their dynamic is that already. Yeah. So yeah. even when they're in, like, they're going to die, they're having not realistic jokes at each other. But when stressful situations, you rip on each other, or yeah. that's mm. what people do. This is just the up degree. But I think that's one of my favorite things about this, like, because it's like it is a family. It's a movie about a family dynamic who also get into space battles. So there's plenty of action, and then there's just people just being mean and horrible to each other, but in a really funny way. It's everything that like I love about space like shows, or like Firefly, or yeah. anything that Joss Whedon does, to be honest. Yeah, and yeah, it's a, again, it's a, it's a spaceshipy sci-fi thing, but those kind of shows, good, good versions of those shows aren't about the spaceshipy things, it's about the, the people and the relationships and stories and stuff like that. And it's done really well. It should be. Like the, I think like the when when it's when it's bad like a bad sci-fi movie is one where that misses the point and it's just like yeah space battles are sick. But yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like like good sci-fi this shouldn't one, be. It's about the characters. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was it was, it was good. It was it was, it was a better it was a better Rogue One story than Rogue One. Oh. Oh, he's ripped on Rogue One. I, was... I loved Rogue One, but I just thought it was I don't know. Same idea of like family thrown together. I know it's a sequel, but I was like ah. Oh. It was just. I think that's apples and oranges. Yeah. You can gotta bite yourself in the butt there. Oh, whatever. It's just so much damn fun. Like, it was. It's a very fun movie, which is why it's very different to Rogue One. I watched Rogue One the other day. It's like terribly upsetting at the end yeah. of that film. Yeah, it is. I don't know. But melancholy like has a place. Melancholy can be like, even nice. the end of that. If it wasn't for the after credit sequences, that would have been a melancholy end. Yeah. Like yeah. it ends on a pretty not sour note. Like it's visually beautiful. You know what? It's a pretty sour note. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. If you've survived this long, we haven't done that many spoilers, but there's a funeral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's pretty, and it's beautiful. Visually, that was, that like, that took my breath away. I was like, oh, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. And then you get a, a bunch then of nice moments. you get a big moments. close up of Stallone's head. Yeah, it was awesome. It takes up the whole screen. Oh, yeah, it's Stallone. I loved him in this. Yeah, I know he was, he was only really in it good. for a little bit, but maybe I was like, you know what, I'd watch him in a Marvel Universe movie. Well, he was quite, he wasn't over the top. He was quite believable as his character. Like, every, even, time you, every time you watch old Stallone, you're like, ah. Oh, here he is again, but like you could have bought him as a character. Oh, say what you will. You seen the latest Rocky? Fantastic. No. That movie was awesome. I watched one with him and Arnie the other day that was made in like 2013. Oh, that's bad. It's great. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> My yeah. pass. I don't know. I, 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 I really enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy. I just thought it, it was a lot of fun, but it was a clever action film. Yeah. With a lot of heart as well. Um, and it, it built a good world, so I believed in the world that was there. Yeah. Which is my big gripe with most of these sorts of films. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Mm -hmm. What else am I missing? Do uh, subscribing and... Yes. Yeah, yeah subscribe and like. Also, this is a little Easter egg. If anyone... I put a Star Wars sound effect in one of our videos. If anyone finds it, I will give you a prize. Can you, yeah. tell, can you tell me what? Yeah, Maybe after the camera's it. gone. Just don't tell, like, the copyright people. Shh. Yeah, true. Yeah. But, because uh, of all the millions of dollars we make. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Running on it. Remember, I'm getting my stripper gun soon. Oh, that's right. From like, dis dispense money at will. Yeah. I want yeah. that. You remember that? Yeah. I, oh, I remember that from the other day. I must have watched the video. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>